and for today uh, we came out of a very very fruitful discussions in those discussions our uh, focus uh, remained in how we could entrench our two nations and expand going forward key of the issues we try to look at what our comprehensive uh, strategic and economic partnership means for us to look deeper look closer and expand and for Papua New Guinea, you would have heard Prime Minister Albanese he spoke in Parliament today that he'd like to expand. And from where I sit as Prime Minister of your country, I'm satisfied that we are elevating to higher heights in how we relate, especially those areas that concern on people to people and uh, business to business. Because from government to government, there's always been good rapport, good exchanges, good understandings. And if there was any time in which there need to be a moment where you entrench. Well, this is the time we've now set in motion a series of activities that will take place between uh, our officials and Australian officials, between our ministers and Australian ministers. And hopefully in April, we will again meet uh, to, to sign uh, our security arrangements and to sign other, other arrangements that we feel must entrench our PNG Australia relationships going forward. Uh, today, I was pleased to have had uh, Prime Minister Albanese's address to our parliament. He spoke on issues about continued support in where they have been supporting us, as well as elevating support. Uh, areas like more Papua New Guineans finding educational opportunities in Australia, more Papua New Guineans finding employment opportunities in Australia, whether uh, you just a seasonal worker to go down to Australia and work and come back, or qualified trade or qualified professionals going to find employment also in Australia without compromising our own employment requirements and upskilling yourself to bring back your skill as well as the dollar back into a country. Those conversations are contemporary. Those con con conversations are timely. Uh, he has raised those issues on his own accord, uh, quite complementary to the way I've been focused on PNG Australia relationship. Most of you would have known uh, when I became Prime Minister in 2019, I could have other destinations apart from Australia to make my first visit. But I choose Australia as the first port of call in as far as PNG Prime Minister's bilateral visit is concerned. My visit to Australia has signals that Australia is the number one foreign relationship we, we have with us without compromising our other relationships. And today the gesture of asking Prime Minister Albanese to speak in Parliament also signals in that context and so we had good meetings, people to people relationships, uh, business to business relationships, and of course our government to government relationships have been anchored. We look forward to our officials working uh, together side by side and to come up with what will be the better version of Albanese, Marape, Pangu, mm. Labour, Australia, PNG for today and going forward as we try to fix this and tidy this. Uh, relationship for modern PNG Australia going forward into the future. It will be unfair of me not to make mention some uh, words of appreciation to the media today. You've had me in Parliament. Uh, I also want to uh, appreciate Australia's help to us since we've been independent the last 47 years, even before that for the missionaries and the key ups. Uh, something uh, my brother, we, I I failed to mention, but I'd like to take this time to acknowledge the key ups. Many young Australians, we talk about mm -hmm. the soldiers, but the key ups are the forgotten generation. They came and they walked the hinterlands of this country, the islands. I uh, just want to appreciate them before 1975, the uh, imprint of Australians in our country to get us out to the modern uh, world as it was back then. And up till today, the Australian personnel that have come here, the Australian aid and grant that has come here, and lately, the direct budget support, as well as interventions in our infrastructure, interventions in, in many of the programs we're going through, including our, our budget re restoration and budget support. I just want to sincerely appreciate Australia government, people, and country for forever being a friend of PNG as it was before, now, and hopefully in our joint understandings, forever friends going and rela relatives going forward into the future. Mr. Prime Minister, I'd like you to take the media and uh, please uh, uh, fill in on areas where I've fallen short of. <laughs>